right, guys, so we got the cab shield on. We got this bent up at our local steel yard, and then um, I ended up cutting these out on the plasma cutter. And then I just left a half inch gap so we can weld underneath. And then we'll weld the corner seam and then the inside seam. And down around everything, everything looks good. The next thing to do is uh, get all the smaller D-rings welded in here. And we're gonna figure out the situation for the little uh, window piece. We got the D-rings as well as the latch mechanisms so that we can latch the barn door to the side and have it stay there if we so choose going down the road. Um, we'll have four D-rings going down the side. We got the insert done for the window area and I'm really liking the style. And then pretty much all that's left is just the mud flaps have to be drilled out top and bottom and then pretty much just needs to be uh, sandblasted now as I would do it myself it's sort of a little bit of a pain so it all depends on what the quote comes in we have the guy coming on Monday to check this all out and give us a rough idea we're gonna have the inside of the body the outside underside um, the frame and then underneath the cab all done at once so that it's all good and we don't have to you know do any extra steps or anything obviously we're gonna have to blow it off because there's gonna be a lot of sand but once we do that it'll be a good surface to pretty much paint um we'll go over it with a da real quick and uh you know sort of break all the loose stuff down but other than that, it'll be ready to paint. Don't have to really do much. And uh, we're gonna paint the frame gloss black. Underneath the bed is gonna be gloss black. As well as underneath the cab, we're gonna spray gloss, gloss black um, with the direct to metal paint. The color we're doing with the whole truck is obviously white. Um, we're gonna be doing the cab white, so he's gonna probably do some more body work this weekend, get that all done. And then, uh, yeah, when it's all sandblasted, we can get it in here, DA real quick, and I can blow this all out and get it all done. Um, a lot of work regardless. And then, as you've seen, we got the cap shield on and the uh, rear piece, rear hitch, and that's all done. This has to be fully welded up. So obviously it has to be welded on the back side and then welded across there. Probably gonna end up stitch welding back here and then fully welding out on the other side uh, and then filling it in with seam sealer and such. Um, but we're, we're, on the, we're on the home stretch with this body, you know, after four or five years of, you know, building and sitting and building a little bit and then sitting for a very long time. And now uh, we got the engine all sort of fixed. It just needs to really be driven um, to sort of like re-energize the engine, I guess you could say. But other than that, let's get back into it. We're gonna get the cab shield welded in and all done. And then we're gonna move on to the uh, D-rings on the inside. And then we will sort of work our way out and go to the barn doors and create the latch system so that everything is good and we don't have to worry about it all and then we'll just finish everything off with uh, drilling out the mud flap brackets getting that all good
All right, so we got the latch all finished up. You can see how we have this closed. We latch it, we'll put that back there. And then when you go around, you can see there is a holding piece. And that is how this latches. So if he wants to go down a road or I want to go down a road without the doors closed and just leaving them open on we can do that so and then when you want to close it undo the latch bring it back around same thing here on the latch bring it around open up that put that there and it's closed doesn't look awkward or anything it's not blocking any of the lights so everything is pretty much done in that aspect of welding and the only thing that's left is the mud flaps which will take a couple minutes to do and then we have a sandblast guy coming to look on at this monday to sandblast the whole body underside the frame and underneath the cab and such so we're going to see how he comes in for price and pretty much get this done once it's sandblasted we can pretty much paint and then uh wire everything up and it's done so we're sort of at the home stretch and uh it's looking really good it's looking like a nice mason dome uh, thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, there'll be plenty more coming out soon. I have some projects coming up. As long as they don't fall through, you'll be seeing them on the channel. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.